I um, I might have the shortest quote unquote talk that you're going to hear today. It's more of an announcement and a quick demo than anything else. Um, what we'll be showing is a, is a we're calling an experimental Flux UI that uh, I've been working on. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is give a quick tour of the uh, repository here. So um, let's share my screen. Uh, can can I post stuff in uh, the chat, or should I do it in Slack, guys? It's I want to post probably a link to good the to post things in Slack. Okay, I'll do that later. Yeah. All right. So here is my uh, here's the uh, web UI repo, the Flux CD web UI repo. Um, it's and fairly new. If you, sorry, but, if you want to send users links right now, you can feel free to post it in the chat here, and 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 we can send it to. Um, Slack okay, well, I'll get it after in Slack. Okay. But, Sounds good. Um, so here's the repo. Uh, kind of the, the architecture of this of the Flux UI at the moment is it's a standalone uh, statically compiled Go binary that runs on runs locally and uses your local kubeconfig to uh, query the server. So there's no extra node modules or anything of the uh, JavaScript stuff you have to do to run it. Um, it's up to download and uh, just run it. It'll run on port 9000 here. And let me show um, here is Flux UI. So like I said, um, just kind of a quick walkthrough here. Uh, it's um, I've got some sources here that I can show, different types of sources. Um, I'm going to go to our trusty old pod info source. And it's all the basic navigation stuff you would you would expect to find. In a web app, it uses the same kind of model as something like Lens or um, Octant, where it's just kind of running locally, and you can uh, it'll use your local cube config to uh, query things. You can change um, context here, so kube guttle context, cube config context. So I can change to this namespace over here. I don't think I've got any Git stuff for a Flux stuff, so let me go back. I uh, filter by namespace. Etc. Um, and then within the customizations, uh, I can look at specifically, and we've got this nice reconciliation graph here. Uh, so as at the moment, it's it's kind of a read-only UI. We've got a sync button that you can use to sort of push the reconciliation, the same way you would do from a command line. But at the moment, it's very read-only. Um, and that's kind of a deliberate choice on our part to um, and when you start getting to write operations, you run up against the age old question of, well, is it Git ops if you're clicking on stuff in the UI? Uh, is it click ops? So um, at the moment, we're just focused on the read only things. And the write operations would be uh, things you do through text editor. Can we really beat a text editor and Git for a, uh, for a user interface? Um, at least at the moment, we've decided to just keep it read only. So going forward, if there's um, other features that uh, the community wants, then um, you know we're happy to happy to add those. Uh, so yeah, very basic. The uh, events page here can be pretty useful for troubleshooting. It's just uh, the same events you would get if you did kube guttle get events. Saves you a step. Um, yeah, that's basically all I had to show. Uh, it's like I said, experimental. We're looking for sort of community input, community input on what you guys would like to see in a Flux UI. Um, there's not much else to it. So that's kind of all I have to say here. I don't, um, I assume there's no Q and A, Scott or Kingdon. Um, that's right. That, well, there's, there's a, uh, you can do questions in, um, in Slack. Cool. So I'll hang out and uh, answer any questions in Slack. Yeah. But, um, that's basically it for the, for the demo slash announcement here. Uh, check out the repo. If you'd like to contribute, love to have some other uh, contributors besides myself. So. That's it. Thanks so much. That is so awesome. I'm excited personally. Really glad to see the progress. We've seen this a couple of times in the Flux developer meetings and in internal meetings. And it, it looks like it's come a long way. Yeah. Thanks.